Hi again. So what I've got here is what I call the calibrated cookie cutter. So I've introduced the calibration system now for left-right uh, orientation of the image on top of the RGB data. So in this case, the RGB is only used for the for the image you see, and the depth data is used then to um, cut out that image. And of course, for that to work, you need to match up the, Im the two images. So you can see here, I, I can actually displace the source image and the um, over the depth data so that the depth silhouette matches the RGB silhouette. Now the calibration is only a left right and it's quite straight, straight, straightforward uh, trigonometry but basically what it allows me to do is produce a green screen system. Now green, it doesn't matter what color it is, the green isn't relevant, it's just there for uh, because everybody knows about green screens. So I can just swap around like that and then I can jump around between images and I can then I can vanish into the image, I could come out, so you, I don't know what sort of application you could use for that, but it's some sort of a puppet, there I'm trying to manipulate the scuba guy, or um, if I go for skiing, you know, I could, I don't know, maybe they could superimpose real hands on a on an existing, um, on a model in the, in the system. And then uh, you could actually have virtual um, virtual uh, snow sticks, or whatever they're called, and you could do your downhill skiing. Anybody who's seen The Apprentice in the UK recently would have uh, would recognise what I'm talking about. So cookie cutting, it's actually pretty straightforward. Again, the, the 3D is only used to make the uh, identification of where the person's body is more accurate, and it does a very good job at that, rather than having to mess around with OpenCV and using markers. So, I like that. Thank you.